Hallelujah. Praise Lord. Amen. It's me again. My sisters and my brothers. I was saying that about um, about the servants of God and how the Lord was um, doing the work here in the world, Jesus, and how Peter and John, they was doing the work of God. You know, those days, we didn't have cars. Yes. And even big houses. Even many clothes. Hallelujah. Amen. But nowadays, everybody is fighting to have a car. Even if you have one car, one car will not enough for him. A servant of God. Let me ask you, servant of God. You know there are many people who they are poor. There are many people who they are, they are sick. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. There are many children who are orphans in the streets. Because the Lord called us to serve Lord, to preach for poor, to preach for poor people, and even rich. And to serve Lord in holiness, righteousness, and truth. But if we don't serve Lord, if we don't serve Lord in holiness, righteousness, and truly, we are doing nothing. We are doing nothing. So, I was talking also to my sisters and my brothers, telling them, you, you are going there. You are saying really the servant of God is lying. And you are going there to cry and give your money to the servant of God to pray for you. Why should you pay money? And the servant of God is praying in the name of Jesus. He's not praying in the name of money. No. No, 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 no. The Lord Almighty God, he gave healness for free. Because Jesus died in the cross. Jesus died in Calvary. Jesus carried the cross. He died in Calvary because of sinners. To give their life to Jesus Christ. He died for sick people to be healed. He died for poor people to know about the Lord. And you, my brother and my sister, you are going to preach for money. It is not well, my sister and my brother. First of all, I'm not commanding you and I'm not judging you. Please, I beg. I'm sorry for that. But I'm telling you the truth. What the Spirit of the Lord is telling me to tell you. Pray for people free. Free of church. It be a rich person. It be a poor person. Pray for him free. If God will bless this person, and he will think about you. He will come alone and tell you, man of God, you are doing the work of God. And I see the Lord have told me to come and bless you. He will come alone. She will come alone and bless you. But don't force the Congress to give you money. Man of God, you know I'm talking about you. I cannot say your name. So, woman of God, you know I'm talking about you. I cannot say your name. And do you know why? Do you know, I want to say something. Do you know why the church of God is falling down? There are many things servants of God are preaching every day. And there are servants of God who they deny those preachings. There are servants of God who they preach truly holiness and righteousness. Mostly holiness, church of God. Yes, they preach the truth. Because they will tell you this and this and this and this is not good. Don't use this thing. Because this thing, it will make you to fall. But people don't hear. Many pastors say, it doesn't matter. Let me start it from ladies. The ladies, women, they have to wear holiness. To wear smarts. And even if it's their hair, they will comb their hair, they will make it to look well. Or to tie a scarf, they will tie it to look smart. To wear a nice dress. But because you see many churches, they fall down. Or many, many, many uh, servants of God. The Lord is showing their nakedness. It's because they love the things of the world. They like to, 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 to see the naked of women. Mostly choir members. The servants of, of, of God, many of them, they are playing with them. And that is why the church is falling down. 
you are a choir member, you have to be aware who is your pastor. If your pastor will be going to touching, touching your breast, or your pastor will be touching, touching your purpose, or your pastor will be touching, touching your hair, he's not a man of God. He's not a woman of God. Run away from that place, oh. <laughs> hey, my sister. It is not to love, it is to cry. If you are going to sing for the Lord in the altar, and you are wearing a mini skirt, you are wearing a tight skirt, a very short and very tight, and God gives you a very nice figure, and you are going to twist yourself, dancing, 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 and twisting yourself, that your pastor is going to see you, and he will love you, and he will want to sleep with you. And that is why many pastors, they go and sleep with the women of church, mostly choir members or ushers. Because every time an usher lady, she has this tight skirt and moving, moving in the church, going that place and that place, making up and down and down, and the servants of God are looking. When the church finish, he's going to call that lady. And one, two, three, four, he's going to go with the lady in the lodging. Many of them, they have been catched in the lodging, sleeping with their choir's members, sleeping with ashes. It is true. So women of God, choir members, ashes, please, dress on nicely, holiness. Make Lord to be happy. Don't go in the church to go and make the servant of God to be happy. You are going to the church to cry for Lord. You are going to the church to praise Lord. Lord say your body is not your own body. It's the temple of God. It's the temple of the Holy Spirit. And Lord say your body is not your own body. He made you so that you worship him. So if you are going to worship him, you tight your, 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 your body. Eh? Some ladies, they will put, they have natural breast, but they will not appreciate this natural breast from God. They will put silicone, and the breast will be big, like balloons or like balls, like football. And the, the servant of God, I've never seen this. You will see just a lady coming, pa, 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 pa. He will not understand. If he's the daughter of Jezebel, or if he's a born-again Christian, or if he's a child of the world, he don't know. The servant of God will preach anything he will preach in the altar. The man of God will be confused. Before he finish preaching, he has sweat all over his body. From the head, from downstairs. He will be completely finished. Men of God don't pretend that you are strong in that time. These ladies, they will walk there, they will walk up and down, walk up and down. Also men and the women of God. Men also, they will gym their bodies, they will wear tight things, they will wear tight trousers, they will not also look, they will look funny, they will look funny, because they don't put on this uh, uh, trouser for Christians, which is a little bit baggy, you know, they will put something which is so tight. So, even the servants of God, women, there are some who they are not married. Eh. There are some who are widows. There are some who their husbands run away. So if they are preaching and they will say that, they will not consentire. It is not lie. It is true. So that is the thing which it breaks the church down. Yeah? That is the thing which it, it, it breaks the church down. Yes. The church falls down. Boom. And it will not fall only down. The Lord will show you a nakedness. The Lord will show everything. Imagine. Everything until it will go up to your family. Because the moment they will catch the servant of God in, 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 in the lodge with, with, with a child of God who is a member, a choir, of, even you, my sister. What is it carrying you to go and sleep with a pastor who is married? Why? Even the, 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 the video man is coming to take video, reportage. You are loving. And you are the one you are singing in the altar. You make the old man to be confused. Oh. Sister, please, eh? 
Let us change our life. Mostly women. Let us change our life. Let our let us change our life. Let us change dressing on going to the temple of God. To look holiness in the temple of God. When we worship Lord, the Lord appreciates our worship. When we pray God, the Lord appreciates our prayers. He answers our prayers. When we cry for Jehovah, you know these are my children. Yeah? There are many things are happening nowadays because it's end time. And mostly young ladies, they finish school, they come in the church, they start to do the work of God. It is well to do the work of God, it is well. But to go and agree to speak lie. Oh, my sister, to go and lie, to go and lie. You say this because you fear the pastor. Why you don't fear God? Let me ask you, my sister, my brother. Why you don't fear God, almighty God, who made you? Why you don't fear God, who gives your heart to pump? He's the one to make your heart to pump. Why you don't fear God, who made the heaven and earth? Why do you fear your pastor? The people are full in the church. You will, you will see the church are... Thousands of people. But only 10 people are going to heaven. Because if all of them, they will agree to dance. To dance that dance, which is a new dance people are dancing nowadays. Putting those uh, satanic hair in the head. You will see all the servants of God, the choir members, they have this satanic hair. My sister, let me tell you something. Eh? There is a sister who is preaching about hair. Her name is Sister Claire. Let me talk today. The Lord called her to speak about the hair. And she said, people, continue preaching people to hear this. Let us preach for people. Let us help people. Let us pray for our sisters not to go to hell. Sister, not that we, we didn't put those hairs on. We put it. But there is a day, my sister, you will stop it. When you are born again, child of Christ, you have to stop those things. Because those satanic hairs are the, are the hair which are, which are jumping. They are jumping in the altar. I don't care what you would say. Those hair, I, I preach in, in, in my other YouTube. That hair is not your own hair. And it is true, my sister. Let me tell you something. Click in YouTube in India. Click. That hair is not your hair. You will see many, 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 many. It will come like this. It will come like this. You will see somebody die. They cut the hair. And they will go and make that hair. I repeat again. They will go and fix it well. They put in African shop. And you will go and buy it. You know it's for a dead person. You will come and put in your head. You will go and sing choir. You will be crazy in the altar. See all those women who they have those hair. How they are shaking their hair. They are throwing that head like this and like this. Twisting it going round and round. They are coming in the front, going behind, because it is demo inside. The hair itself, it has Satan it's inside. It has a spirit of that person who cut the hair. You don't know, that person was not a Christian. That, hair was, that person was not a Christian now. Because she just opened her hair, because she, she, she just took that hair to give in the temple. This hair are coming from Asia country and India country. My sister hear this. This hair... Even in your house, even see some women when they go to disco, when they are drunk and they fight themselves, they will pull that hair. They will not box themselves. No, 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 no. They will pull it, they will pull it, they will pull it. And that hair, it is making many pastors to be confused. They say, put on your hair. Put on uh, your, human, your human hair. How can you put the human hair? That is human being hair. First of all, Africans. You African lady, have you seen ever a Muzungu a, a white woman putting an Africa hair in the head? Why you go carry the hair for a white lady? And that is making confusion in the church. It's throwing the church down. Even the, the pastor himself will be confused with the hair. He just see the hair because that hair has spirit. Because that hair, here, here, I wanted to, to talk another language. Here, first of all, that hair, they will cut it from the person who has problem. He will take that hair in the temple. To the Buddha. The Buddha himself have many hands. The hands are making like this. The Buddha himself is a stone. It's an idol. Never talk. But they, they, they believe that that idol will do something. They will go and give that hair to that idol. And the idol say, I have appreciated your prayers. They will take that hair. A new African woman, you go and buy the hair for Satan. And you are a Christian. You are born again, child of, Christ, child of Jesus Christ. And you are putting the hair of somebody who is praying idol. And you are praying and casting the idols out. And you are carrying the hair of somebody who was praying idols. Think about it, my sister. Eh, that is what I was telling you. It is throwing the church down. 
And that's why the servants of God, they are confused. When they see this, the way they see these women, they are doing like that. They bleach their bodies. They, they, they remove their hairs. They don't love their wives again, no. Eh. So my sister and my brother, let us preach the word of God. How Jesus preached and how the apostles preach in Jesus' name. God bless you. Thank you so much. I have to stop from there because my time has go offer. God bless you. It's me. Pastor Sister Magdalene, Emily Tanner. Thank you. God bless you. Jesus loves you. And Jesus loves me too. Thank you. Bye.